back appearance. He gets to start with Bradley Beal. And away we go here at Capital One Arena. Great to have you with us on a Monday night. NBA TV center court. John Wall and the Rockets control the first possession. That is going to be last touch by Wall. Here tonight, those two going at it. Daniel House with the steal sets up John Wall. And the Washington Wizards, but they've settled on one in back-to-back -back games here with Beal and Westbrook joined by Matthews, Achimura, and Wagner. And there's a three-point hit. I'm making a long two. I beg your pardon. John Wall's in the book. And there's a three-point hit. I'm making a long two. I beg your pardon. John Wall's in the book. Inside Achimura. Knocked away. So tough, tough go at it here for Houston, but no one feels soft, sorry for you in the NBA. You got to play and compete regardless. Into the rotation. Now he's starting his third consecutive game. He took a shot to the thigh yesterday. And he's been dealing with an illness, but he's good enough to go here tonight. <laughs> That's the kind of year it's been. I mean, a two-way guy. All of a sudden, he's starting for the Washington Wizards. And as you said, doing a pretty good job. Ooh, look at Daniel House going fundamental off the window. His scoring has gone from the mid-20s on average to up over 30 the last couple of seasons. John Wall can't hit the mid-range. And there's Tate once again. Nawaba, his second. The headliner, John Wall, returning to Washington, D.C. Jay Sean Tate buries a three. Just great offensive execution. Everyone touching the basketball. And then you know what? It ends up in the hands of the leading scorer in the NBA all alone. <laughs> and answering on the other end is John Wall. There's no shot blockers inside right now with Cousins and you know, obviously Christian Wood out. So Washington early attacking, getting in the paint. And of course, getting to the rim. Yeah, I mean, he's experienced just about everything you can in the first three, four months since he's been hired. And, and uh, from that time, and even here with all these injuries, having to be resourceful, having to be innovative. In the last two possessions. And we talked to Scotty Brooks. He was very pleased with Lopez's Ooh. activity, although Wall showing some activity right there <laughs> at the rim. This guy might be really be back. Yeah, I mean... They definitely put the extras on his injury because it gives him even more incentive to get back to the level of play he was once playing at. And it's taken him some time in basketball when you heard him say that Bradley Bill was in the hospital during the time his, his mother wasn't doing too well. We'll figure something out. Maybe we'll ask Twitter, the Twitter universe, to give us an idea of what to do with that card. No, no doubt about it. Jayshon Tate scores inside. Snaps an 8-0 run there by the Wizards. They were up 33-25. And now up six. Saw Bradley Beal and John Wall with 11 points as a visiting player. Well, he's been aggressive. You know, he's been attacking. Uh, he's been looking for his shot. I hope some, a lot of our fans right now that are uh, maybe, hopefully, you're watching if you have power. But uh, I know a lot of Houstonians yeah. could use that long sleeve. Both teams have been in the bonus since the four-minute mark. Rockets are extremely shorthanded tonight, if you're just joining us. Just Outside this year, but when he gets into the paint, so dangerous to stop, and I love him finishing with that left hand. And Cousins, I guess he's proven us wrong uh, to a team struggling to find its groove, particularly with new pieces. A lot of these teams gasping for air and uh, anxious for an all-star break. Nice take by John Wall. Getting stops, consecutive stops. Not just one here and there, because it's coming back to haunt the Wizards right now. Good job by Avdia, forcing the tough shot by Wall. John Wall over Beal for three. No rebound for Wagner. Wall guarded by Achimura. Wall goes right by him and high off the glass. Scores the layup. Yeah. Still very close friends, Wall and Beal. And what's been impressive, B.A., in the, in the month of uh, February, excuse me, he's averaging 22 and a half points per game. I mean, he is really sort of stepping his play up here. And so that is so encouraging long term. Ooh. Wagner dunks it home is fouled. You know, you have to match up. You have to have mobility here as Houston has five small guys. And once again, bad rotations defensively. 
Wall will get it organized here. Shot clock down to seven. And Wall working on the rookie. Pulls up. Can't hit it. Hit it. Well, David Nwaba at point blank. Westbrook cannot hit the layup. And that kind of night for him. And there's Jay Sean Tate who scores. Wall kicks it. Sterling Brown for three. He's got it. Coming from Latvia to start the year. He was behind on the short ramp up. Just hasn't been able to get loose yet. As Wall takes it to the basket. Another one inside for John Wall. Now in his third year, second with Washington. Wall misses a three. In the mid-range, shooting 50% on a league-leading six mid-range attempts per game. So we talk about his diversity of scoring. Hey, Tate's been impressive. Here's Wall, a little fade away. No. It'll be very interesting to see how the Lakers play this with AD, but that can certainly tip things in the West. There's a steal by Bradley Beal all the way in to score the layup. Easy layup opportunity in transition as a result. And DeMarcus Cousins finally scores for Houston. Speaking of Achilles injuries, both Wall and DeMarcus Cousins, those brutal Achilles injuries. Wall, a little dribble into a pull-up. Pull Matthews misses a three. Cousins with the board. Here come the Rockets. Want to push it with Wall. Wall on the attack with the left hand. No. <laughs> no foul. He's looking for a call. Yikes. Go ahead. How about some analysis there, Grant? There's a no look and a block from behind, but a foul. And the hamster's on the wheel, Grant. Washington by 11. Rockets have had just one lead. It was brief in the second quarter. And there's Jay Sean Tate. Corner three is good for the man from Ohio State. Two here in this second half. He spins off Achimura. Oh, vintage wall gets his own and the putback. Two here in this second half. He spins off Achimura. Oh, vintage wall gets his own and the putback. Two here in this second half. He spins off Achimura. Oh, vintage wall gets his own and the putback. Oh, he had the mismatch with Neto. And now Wall with Neto on him. Pull up three on the way. Short. And hit that three over the 6'10 Ray Spalding. A kick to the corner. House. Got it. Nice find by John Wall. Tonight for the ball club. You talk about Christian Wood. I mean, I don't, people haven't seen him play. The impact he has on both ends of the floor. I thought the horn went off before he shot it, but clearly the rest thought differently. When in doubt, put the ball in the hands of Bradley Beal as Beal pulls down the rebound. Guarded by Drama. And Wagner had it stripped by Wall. And Wagner strips it right back. Wide open for three. Guarded by Drama. And Wagner had it stripped by Wall. And Wagner strips it right back. Wide open for three. Wagner has Wall down low. Wall able to strip him. Wagner takes it right back. <laughs> Shoot it. And now Mo for three. There, there it go. is. You waiting for Mo. And there's Bertans cutting. No. Take with a rebound. Under five minutes to go in regulation. Bounce pass to Nwaba. Nice setup by John Wall to David Nwaba. That's his tenth board. He's got a double double tonight. John Wall for three. Rockets need it, and they get it. John Wall delivers the three ball for the Wizards. The success here in the fourth of just attacking, getting into the paint, being efficient. 